Hello, people. People? Hi, people of the internet. <laughs> oh. What's up, guys? Today we are going to be making this Arrowhead ear warmer. It's super nice for the fall or winter, and it's a really quick 45 minute project. So, with that, let's just get right into it. Today we are going to be using a weight five bulky yarn, a pair of scissors, and then a six millimeter crochet hook. So to get started today, we are going to start off with our slip knot. Then what we're going to do is make a foundation chain that is going to be long enough to stretch to fit around your head. Now obviously this will depend on the person, depend on how large or small your head is. So I'm just going to chain up the amount that's going to stretch to fit around my head and I will get back to you once I am done with that. So I just finished doing my foundation chain. And I've made it long enough so that it stretches comfortably around my head. You don't want it to be too tight and you don't want it to be too loose, so make sure that it's just right. So what we're going to do now is we are going to be connecting these two ends to make a round. And I want to make sure that it doesn't get twisted. So this right here is actually going to be the inside of our first round and the ridges on the back, that's gonna be the outside. Now the ridges are on the outside because we are actually going to be working into the back ridges right there. So what I'm gonna do is run my fingers along like this to make sure that it's not twisted. Okay, yeah, do it once or twice. And then I'm going to find that very first ridge right there and insert my hook into it. Okay, and then I'm just going to grab my working yarn and make a slip stitch to connect. Okay, so now we are all joined together. And like I said, we're going to be working into these back ridges only right here. Not the front loops right here that make the little V's, but the back ridges right there. So we're gonna be working half double crochets into this first round. So to begin, we will chain up two, and that's going to count as our first stitch. So for our next stitch, we're going to go right into that very first back ridge right there. Again, not like we normally would, not like through those first two loops right there. We're going into the back ridge. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my yarn, or I'm sorry, my hook into that back ridge. And then I'm going to yarn over and pull through that loop. And then with three loops on my hook, I'm going to yarn over and pull through all three. Okay, so you can see how the V is going to show on the bottom and that's going to make our edging look a, not, um, look a lot nicer for our ear warmer. So again, we are going to go into the very next ridge for our next stitch and we're going to yarn over, insert our hook through that back ridge. Okay, and then yarn over, pull through that loop. And then yarn over and pull through all three. So we are going to do that all the way down, just half double crochets into the back, um, the back ridge only. So once I am done with all of those, I will come back over here and I will show you how to finish it off and then go on to round two. All right, so we are done with that first round almost, but I will show you guys how to finish it up. So again, we have not been working into the front loops. 
but we have been working into that back ridge right there. So again, we are going to yarn over, go into that back ridge only, and then pull through, and then pull through all three. Okay, and we just have one more stitch to do right there on the very end. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to see, but remember to go into that very last back ridge. All right, and that is our first round. We are almost done. All we have left to do is attach. I'm sorry, to join. <laughs> And to do that, we are going to do a slip stitch into the very top of our chain two. So count one, two, and then insert your hook, pull over, and then pull through both of those loops on your hook. And there we have it. That is the very first round completed. So for our second row, it's going to consist of half double crochets in the third loop. So it's gonna be a little bit different than normal. Usually we just go into those first two front and back loops, but there's actually a third loop on the back of those two loops. So it's right here if you can see it. I'll insert my hook into there so it's gonna be easier for you guys to see. Okay, that's gonna be our third loops. So you can kind of see it. You can kind of see them all right there. So again, we have the front loop, the back loop, and then the third loop, if you just kind of flip it over right there. It just kind of goes across the back ends of the stitches horizontally. See, it's one, two, and three. So what we're gonna do is half double crochet into these third loops so that our first two loops will be pronounced. They'll kind of form a ridge all the way around our round. So to start this second row, we are going to chain up two, and then we are going to find that very first third loop, which is kind of a tongue twister. It's gonna be right, let's see, one, two, right there, three. Now I forgot to yarn over for this, but it is going to be a half double crochet I do see that I only made a single crochet in the first one, but it is a half double crochet. Make sure to yarn over and have three loops on your hook. Okay. So we are going to, again, yarn over, go into that back, the third loop only, pull up, and then pull through all three. So you can already see that the V is kind of being, it's it's being brought up, it's pronounced, it's creating a ridge, if you will. <laughs> but I will show you guys one more time. We're gonna yarn over, go through that third loop right there. Again, one, two, and then three. Yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three. And there you guys have it. It'll be easier, again, the more times you do it. It's really not that different then doing the just normal front and back loop, uh, half double crochet, you're doing the exact same motion, it's just going to be through the third loop, and that's it. So I will finish up this round, and I will see you once I am finished with that, and we will complete our second round. All right, we are almost done with that second round. And as you can see, it's been working up on the inside rather than the outside. So we're just going to flip it over at the end after we are done joining these. So let's just finish up these last few stitches. Again, front and back loops right here, but we are working into the third loop. Okay, and you can actually kind of see that the third loop forms another sort of V. So it's almost like you got two V's going on there. See, there's that second V into the third loop. If it confuses you what I'm saying, just don't listen to me. <laughs> okay, so to join our round, we're going to do the same thing. Go into that second chain, insert our hook, and we're just gonna make a slip stitch right there. 
All right, and there's the end of our second row. Now I'm just going to flip this inside out so that our ridge is going to be on the outside of our ear warmer like we would <laughs> like it's supposed to be. All right, there we go. All flipped up inside out. Looking nice. Okay, so for our third round, we are going to start working our slanted puff stitches. So to do this, I'm going to take some yarn off and we are going to chain up two like we have been doing. All right, so we are going to be working regularly into the front and back loop just like normal, just doing regular half double crochets. So what I'm going to do first is we are going to skip that very first stitch. Okay, skipping that first stitch, we are going to make our first half, half double crochet into the second stitch from our chain. So yarn over, insert your hook through the loop, yarn over, and then pull through all three. Okay, and we are going to make another half double crochet in the following stitch as well. Now here comes the puff stitch. So I skipped the first stitch right here, and we are going to make our puff stitch right back into that first skipped stitch. So what I'm going to do is yarn over and go from front to back into that first skip stitch, grab our yarn, pull it back through, and then pull up a little bit. Okay? I'm going to do that again, yarn over, go through the same stitch from front to back, grab our yarn, pull right back through, and then pull up. And we're going to do that one more time. Front to back, pull through. And so it's a total of three times, and we are now going to have seven loops on our hook. So once we have that, we are going to yarn over and pull through all seven loops. All right, and that is gonna be our first puff stitch. So we're gonna continue this pattern all the way around, but I will show you once more, so do not fret. All right, we are going to skip that next stitch right here, and then again, do our half double crochet into the second stitch. Okay, then one more half double crochet through the next following stitch. And then we have our skip stitch right here. So to do the puff stitch again, we are going to yarn over Okay, let's find it again. We're going to yarn over, go from front to back like we normally would on a, a normal uh, stitch. We are going to pull our yarn back through, and then we are going to pull up. Again, yarn over, go through the same stitch, grab our yarn back through, and pull up. And we're going to do this one more time. Yarn over, front to back grab our yarn and pull up. And now we will have seven loops on our hook. So we yarn over and pull through all seven. Okay, so you guys finish up with that and I will do the same and then I will come back and show you how to finish up this round. All right, so we're almost done with that third row right here. So once we get to the end, at least for mine, I still had two stitches left. So what I'm going to do is skip one like we normally would, and I'm going to just make a half double crochet into the very last stitch. And then what I'm going to do is just join the round like normal. So on the top of that chain two, I'm going to make a slip stitch. So you can see this is where our pattern breaks just a little bit, but this is going to be on the very back of our head, behind our ponytail or hair, so it's not going to be seen. Now for our fourth round, we are going to be doing, again, another slanted puff stitch, but this time we're making them in the opposite direction to create an arrow effect. So to do this, we are going to chain two. And instead of going in the same direction from left to right, I'm going to flip it around and go the opposite way. And you can flip this inside out, by the way, 
if it's easier to work like that, it's really not going to matter. Okay, so you see we're still working left to right, but it's just the opposite. We flipped it. So what we're going to do is skip that very, very first stitch right there where we would usually go into. And we are going to skip all of the big stitches. The big stitches are going to be our skip one stitch. So we're going to skip that first stitch and then make our half double crochets on the tops of our other puff stitches right here, as you see. So half double crochet into the second stitch from the hook and then another half double crochet in the following. Okay, and we're going to go back into that very first big stitch, yarn over, go from front to back, grab our yarn and pull through and up, and then do that two more times. Okay, and we are going to yarn over, pull through all seven loops, and now you can see how this is starting to make our little arrowhead going this way. So I'll show you guys that one more time. We're gonna skip the big stitch right here and then do our two half double crochets in the following. So again, half double crochet in the second stitch and then half double crochet in that following stitch as well. All right, and our puff stitch, yarn over, go through that first skip stitch pull up and through, through and up, <laughs> and then do this two more times. So again, it's gonna be a total of three, um, three yarn over, pull throughs, etc. <laughs> we'll do it one more time, that's gonna be our third. All right, so we got seven loops on the hook, we're gonna yarn over, pull through all seven. And continue all the way around. So we're pretty much done with our fourth round. We just finished off that last puff stitch and we don't really have another stitch to go into. So this is the very first stitch that we made and the chain two is connected to that. So it's not really a stitch that we would work into, but we're gonna make a half double crochet into that stitch to kind of seal up this last puff stitch. So we're just gonna make a half double crochet right into there. And that's actually going to even out because we skipped this little stitch right here when we were making the pattern for round four. So it will now even out because we have two half double crochets here and then two half double crochets right here. So again, find that second chain and make a slip stitch to join the round. All right, and you can see how it's gonna even out in the end. Now for round five, we are going to chain up two. And I'm going to flip the work back right side out. And you can tell it's right side out because of the ridge. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do normal half double crochets, starting with that first stitch right here. Okay, we're just going to continue to do this all the way around. And I will come back when we are done with this one. There's not too much to this round. We are almost done with that fifth row and I will finish that last half double crochet right here. And then this stitch is actually part of the chain two. So we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two like normal and join the round. All right, and we are on to our last round, round number six. So let's chain two like we've been doing. And then we're going to do our half double crochet into the third loop only. So again, not front, not back, but the third loop. So going into that third loop, we'll yarn over, 
and insert our hook. Then we'll yarn over, pull through, and then pull through all three. And we're just gonna keep doing this until we get to the very, very end. And once we are done, that's going to be it for our little ear warmer here. So at the end, we are just going to join like we have been with the slip stitch in the top of our chain two. And then we'll just chain one, cut our work, pull through and weave it in. All right, and that is it. We are finally done with our little ear warmer here. As you can see, I didn't weave in the ends quite yet, but that's all right. So this is our back little seam right here, just where our pattern breaks a little bit, but again, that's gonna be on the back of your head. So I think this looks really nice, especially the front. Um, it's great for skiing, great for biking, great for hiking, any kind of outdoor activity you would like, or indoor, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? But um, I hope you guys really enjoy this tutorial. It's really fast, really easy to work up, and I think it's great for an intermediate beginner. So again, if you guys like these tutorials, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It really would mean a lot. It helps me make more free tutorials for you guys so that you can make your own crochet creations. Anyways, thanks again for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for the next one, and I will see you guys soon. Bye!